We always, I mean, the mantra here, if we could put anything on the wall, is simply this. We're either making or saving money. Right? Now, since I'm in IT, with electronics, we can't really make any money. Okay. So we, like, focus, like anything, save money. And save money in a lot of ways, right? We try to come up with processes that make sense. We look at technology and find the technologies that help us to be more efficient, to do all the things that we need to do with less and less. As fast as the technology comes out that is applicable, we just hunt to use it. Just get all the resources on board to figure out well, how can we use this thing to make help us save money, right? We can make a particular process more efficient. It's people. You know, distracted people, people who think that they're doing stuff that's important, but when you measure it, are you saving money? Are you making money? No, then it's not important. And of course, people have their own self-importance, so they want to like drag you into their stuff. So I just have to remind them, hey, it might be important to you, but it's not important to me. So we just stay focused on what we need to do, right? Now when I look at my schedule, like, I got, I can show you my calendar, triple book, quadruple book. People don't care anymore. <laughs> it's just say, we need you in this meeting. Join it here and it book you. So now I have to choose. Now sometimes, right, they might, be, they might be right. Like the meetings are all important. So let's say you got three meetings at 11 o'clock that are important. What do you do? Right, I can't put myself in three places. So here is where a tool like Columbus would make a huge difference, right? Because now we can, we don't have to actually be in a meeting, you can kind of organize things in such a way that people can kind of organize resources, pull things together. Even if you are not there, everything is there, you have a, a project manager organizing everything. So at your convenience, you could go look at it and make a contribution and move on. Uh, in a lot of cases, we have, um, you know, a lot of our meetings, we pull people together, yeah, 10 to 12 folks in a meeting. and. Even at best, even if you were able to get all the right people, all the contributors, um, for the most part, if we have an hour-long meeting, the com contributors, their part is maybe 20 minutes of solid contribution. So if we had a tool that can allow them to make their contribution and then release them, it would be so valuable. You get a good 60-70% savings there from that because a lot of these folks I know like myself, they're like me, they're all double and triple booked. So if we're triple booked for an hour, that's an hour where we, we're stuck in one place when we really need it in two or three places. So if we can be more efficient and say, well, let me make my contribution 20 minutes here and I'm done, I can go to the other meeting and make another 20 minute. So I can be in three places pretty much within that hour. And that would be a huge savings for me. Miscommunication is a huge part of what causes us to be ineffective and inefficient, right? And then a lot of times when you have a miscommunication, you know, you don't know that you have a miscommunication right away, right? It takes something going wrong for you to realize, well, here, we miscommunicated, right? But if, if there was a way that we can document and retain a lot of information and make sure that all this information gets to the right people, then a lot of that miscommunication goes away, right? And that in itself, there's another 50% savings in terms of efficiency. Knowledge retention. In our organization, we have, you know, maybe 20% of the resources are, are what we would call superstars. The other 80% are good, but we need to find ways to help them to be better. Now, we have a lot of projects. You can't always send all your superstars to them. It's just not possible. And in a lot of cases, we don't need to, even though most people would like to have all the superstars at their projects. But we can, if we had a tool that allows us to you know, retain, organize, and reposition a lot of the knowledge, we can send someone who is not a superstar but very good to these other situations with data, with information, to help them to be successful. 
and over time that all that experience that knowledge working you know gaining the experience working with these things working on these projects helping to build up their confidence within six to nine months now you have an additional superstar or three places so if we can be more efficient and say well let me make my contribution 20 minutes here and I'm done I can go to the other meeting and make another 20 minutes so I can be in three places pretty much within that hour and that would be a huge savings for me so here is where a tool like Columbus would make a huge difference, right?